Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and uh, today here we are with our video software engineering before starting this video if you have not subscribed to the channel which i am damn sure you have not subscribed uh i'm really asking it for betterment of you guys please 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 do subscribe to the channel so that i can make more and more videos if you subscribe then that would be a motivation for me to make more and more content for the students not only for two one in the coming two two three one three two i'll try to provide all videos of this kind uh, so please do like this video and also subscribe so be today we are going to discuss about software engineering important topics not only topics but uh, also important questions for semester and exam so before starting this video i just want to tell you that uh, this video of important questions have been made uh, through our own analysis of uh, uh, software engineering the questions which are appearing in this video may or may not come in your final exam that there is no guarantee that only these questions will come in the exam so i request students to take this video as a revision and prepare behind it and also just check with this exam so check with these questions because these are important and most repeated questions in the previous exams as well so please note before going into this video okay and uh, let's start with our video and uh, and also just want to tell you if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section so that i can help you with all your questions and answers and uh, also the links are given in the description so you can just check with the links and if you are not followed on social media so you can follow now coming to the unit one what is unit one in software engineering introduction to software engineering because uh, this is will be this will be a simple topic and a generic view of process and process models uh, generally uh, what we observe in the question paper is the waterfall model spiral model and agile methodology one question compulsory and from the cmmi and uh, process frame network you'll get one question for sure so this is how the pattern of exam has been overall and from unit two we have software requirements and requirement engineering process so whenever the unit is divided into two equal half one question from this and one question from this are compulsory so prepare accordingly and uh, unit three design engineering so uh these uh i'll discuss some more important questions about uh, this design engineering which is uh overall an important topics in this uh whole syllabus and unit four is testing strategies what are alpha testing beta testing white box testing black box testing etc the software measurements and unit five again you see the unit five is divided into two risk management and quality management from risk ma management point of view one question will be compulsory and uh, quality management will be one question compulsory that we'll discuss in the later in this video so now these are the usual tips which i give in uh, every video so prepare three chapters perfectly focus on short questions and uh, these are the units if you want and if you want only pass marks you can be generally this uh, syllabus is completely i mean this is completely uh, what you call as theory based so i i guess students will look to look in scoring rather than just pass so please try try more and more to uh, try to score more marks okay now coming to important topics what are the important topics here so he, here we can see what are the important topics just okay what are software myths so software myths question is the most repeated question and uh, it is asked most of the times and uh, this is also an important cmmi and uh, waterfall model waterfall model agile methodology so from these four topics one question is definitely going to come in your tomorrow's exam uh if you can uh just check with this because these three uh, topics are always repeated once in your uh, exam paper so prepare accordingly when it comes to unit one software myths what are software myths they try, they'll ask you to explain now we'll look into it important questions no uh see uh one is agile methodologies as i said then uh, you have what is software myth explain in different various software myths and uh, with a neat sketch explain capability maturity model integration cmmi one two three and four i'm sorry this was a waterfall model in detail so what is umbrella activity so these are these questions were given in the 
प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन पेपर आई मीन लास्ट ईयर दिस क्वेश्चन अपियर्ड एंड ऑल्सो Uh, this question have also appeared in the last. So one, two, three, four. Uh, apart from this four, definitely you are going to get one question in the exam. That is for sure. So please uh, prepare in that way. Okay. And uh, now coming to the unit two. As I said in the syllabus video, where uh, uh, software requirements and requirements engineering process. So these are the two topics from which one question from here and one question from here are definitely going to appear. Uh, so maybe functional and non-functional requirements so this is the this is important topic and uh, then you have requirements of uh, elicitation and analysis so these are the two topics which are uh, important and also requirement management so you can see uh, these uh, these are the important and most repeated topics from the previous question papers so this is how it is and also these are unit two important questions so what are uh, the unit two important questions again you see requirements and elicitation of elicitation and analysis there is and uh, desirable characteristics of good software requirement and uh, uh, for uh, your reference i would say i would like to tell you that this question and this question has been asked in the latest in the previous question papers so prepare accordingly so uh, that is how uh, before the start of the video i mean after the introduction part you might have seen the previous question paper uh, that is i think that is from february so just check with this previous questions also okay uh, before uh, and if you are uh, feeling that i am too fast or going too fast so please uh, take a screenshot keep it with you handy and uh, so that you can prepare later for your exam whenever you are preparing unit 3 what are the important topics in unit 3 software architecture definitely and important one conceptual model of uml okay conceptual use case diagrams i mean like while explaining this conceptual you need to use case diagram so this is a tricky one uh, so if you are good at uh, uh, i mean like studying software architectures and you the models and everything then this unit you might help otherwise you can also leave it this is always an optional one uh, so these are the important questions which i have for example for example these two questions have been appeared in your previous question paper the latest one the latest uh, the last time when exams were conducted so these two questions were asked and also remaining remaining are the coupling cup coefficient these are all the important questions okay now coming to unit four strategic approach to so software testing okay uh, what are the metrics this is also important right and uh, strategic op approach uh, then you have white box testing and black box testing so these are the important topics so if you have any doubts you can just uh, comment in the comment section so that i'll be more than happy to help you guys here okay i understand that uh, you know videos are coming a little delayed but uh, definitely this will be worthful and uh, see uh, what are the metrics used for use for testing and uh, integration of testing process uh, alpha and beta process and then there is white box testing software quality so prepare these eight questions definitely one question might come in your exam okay so prepare accordingly now unit 5 unit 5 what again you have two different things so one is uh, risk management one is quality management from risk management point of view one question what you are getting risk identification and software risk uh, identification and risk uh, reinforcement for example these two might be asked in one question software risk and risk identification these two they might combine and make a uh, question and ask like that quality management so again iso 9000 iso 9300 quality standards so what are the quality standards so this is uh i mean like more of a theory thing where you can just study and uh, get this software reviews and uh, statistical software quality assured so these are the important things just prepare accordingly what is risk identification discuss various method of risk identification so first you have risk identification right discuss the role of formal technical reviews in achieving good quality software so this is related to software quality iso 9000 as i said iso 9000 is important so last time when they asked a question they asked like this what about uh, discuss about risk projection and risk refinement write a short note on capability 
maturity model this is also they asked okay so now these are the questions so if you look at the previous question paper this is the same question paper which uh, which you saw at the start of the video if you have not if you have missed that just go back to start of the video again watch this so this is exactly the same thing as this subject is common to csc aiml iot and uh, normal aiml so uh, so discuss look at that the questions how they are framing this discuss the evolving of software with an each case experience software process framework explain changing nature of software and common software myths uh, can be integrated waterfall model with spiral model if so in that situation these are to be ingredient integrated discuss so these are the questions so if you look at this and also this is the second part where you know uh, the fourth and fifth unit are covered so please uh, check into this how they are framing the question so and if you want to take screenshot also please do take and uh, that's it i think for this video so please do subscribe to the channel if you have any questions doubts please let me know in the comments i'll be happy to help and please do not forget to subscribe the channel which is really important liking subscribing and sharing the content is also uh, definitely important so that that will motivate me to make more and more videos for you guys and uh, also it will help to grow us mutually and if you have any doubts and if you are not followed us on social media instagram everywhere links are given in description you can just go follow and uh, and uh, stay connected so thank you guys thank you so much and uh, all the best for your exams thank you so much bye